Hello guys, back to a new video. Today we are inside new DS4 and as you probably know, the new DS cars in the future will come with a new multimedia system. In this video, I will present you the new multimedia system from DS from 2022 forward. So first of all, I want to show you really fast the head up display that the car come with and also the cockpit. It's not something super, super complicated in terms of digital cockpit. The head up display is very complex, very nice, directly on the windshield. And also you can customize in many ways. You can see the navigation. You can see a lot of information right there, like speed, like traffic speed limits and yeah, whatever stuff like that. Also lane assist, you can activate the cruise control. Also more more about that I have in the test drive with the DS4 if you want to see more check that out but also it's very good directly on the windshield one of the best in terms of cockpit guys here you have all the information like consumption like speed like how much range you still have on the car also you can see for example right here um, the navigation you can see the different information about the driving modes and also you can uh, change the media and yeah whatever many many things also from here you can change the different driving modes for example you can go in sport mode let me show you let me start the car you can choose the modes for example you have electric mode comfort mode hybrid mode and sport mode so you have a few modes that you can change it on the cars it's very very simple to use good anyway i want to go really fast because this is not so important uh, the most important thing it's the new multimedia system and also this controller that you have it right here in the middle first of all you probably wonder what is this screen here this screen in the middle right here it's kind of a controller guys a controller shortcut that help you go in different function different menus there okay this is a shortcut to the menu so for example you can say in the menu i want every time when i make a circle to go in the multimedia system and every time you're driving it helps you when you drive to to not take your eyes off the road you just have to do a circle and then it will get you directly to to the multimedia if you want the navigation to be a line you make a line and you go directly to navigation if you want an l you go directly to the seat hitting or climatic system you make an s and stuff like that also you have a function where you press this button a few seconds and you can go there to the screen you can see and you can choose wherever you can go to navi so just like that super simple so you press it a few seconds and you go to media and you press it a few seconds you go to phone and then if you want to you press it a few seconds and you go to application drawer and you press it a few seconds and you go to start stop or help so i think you get the point it's 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 relatively simple to use and it's it's really really helpful while you're driving to stay with your eyes on the road you can use this shortcut uh, touch screen it's super cool anyway let's go forward now the screen doesn't have so many physical buttons it's more like a touch screen and the great part is that they improve it a lot it's not more like a previous one it's much better now it's one of the best on the market in terms of responsiveness the processor behind it it's very good and it's quite easy to use also you have a physical button down here a car that gets you to the settings of the car you just have to press it and the car will go right here and then you have another button here that's home button press this home button and you get directly to the home uh, menu so one more time press this car get you to the settings of the car and this button up here get you to the home menu this is kind of a also back button home button and back button i'll show you in a second right now uh, the climatic system have also some physical buttons right here but they are really useful i mean you can go direct to the climatic system you press this one if you want to turn it on and off you press this off button here super simple nothing complicated nothing crazy it's very nice integrated now let's talk a little bit about the multimedia system a little bit deeper here on the home screen you have all the information the temperature and all the information about the phone if you have the phone connected to the car then you have the connectivity and the gps there now here on the first page because it's a customizable it's kind of a phone guys it's the same as on your phone you can customize whatever you want to have on your pages and you have pages here you can see 
you have I have five pages up there and you have pages for every function and you can add in these pages whatever function you want that cool it is it's like a phone it's something new it's cool this is the first page for me for example I have the climatic system set up I can turn it on and off from here super simple I can go to the climatic system super simple by pressing it or I can choose from here uh, to to turn it off and on I can choose the temperature I can choose the fan speed for here it's it's that simple it's really really simple then you have the navigation you can press it it's extend all over the screen it's a great navigation system much better than before guys it's super responsive it works really fast and really good and I love it I mean once you set a destination here you press drive and it gets you to the destination in no time it's just just like that press the drive and boom immediately super fast I love that really really nice also you can see the navigation here on the cockpit or on the head-up display the way you want to have it anyway it's quite nice if you want to go back you, you press this back back button hours. and then here you have also the connectivity to the multimedia and you have some shortcut buttons down here if I go next page the second page it's also navigation and here it's information about the car the energy flow of the car it's a plug-in hybrid that way it shows you like that then you have the statistics the consumption the charging the e mode here e save sorry you can save 10 kilometer 20 kilometer however you want to save for later you can save the battery for for later to use later in electric mode the charging schedule the statistic you already see it go back to home on the third page i have the seats because this car come with massage on your seats you can change here uh, you have kind of 10 function of massage in your seats you can turn it on and off from here you have free position super simple so the massage function is here for you and the passenger and also i have the heating function here super nice you can activate this activate from here the heated steering wheel and the heated seats so super nice function another cool feature is the seat option on the seats option you have the massage on your seat and you have heated and ventilated because the car come also with ventilated seats you can turn it on from here and you have free position for ventilated seats and heated seats amazing seats in this ds if you want to find out more check out the review with ds there i explain you more guys it's really good function it's work perfectly anyway let me turn it off yeah then you have massage your seat already let me go back press the home button you go back climatic system you go to the climatic system here on the climatic system you have all the functions you have the climatic system where you choose the direction the temperature and all kind of stuff then you have the um, steering wheel and heating seat the air quality the car come also with the air quality function like skoda implemented for the first time so that's great then you have also the precondition function where you can precondition the car before you start driving uh, that's also great you heating or uh, cooling then let's go to the next page you have multimedia uh, somehow here on the side you can customize the climatic system and then you have all kind of uh, function that you can go in for example the phone function it gets you to the phone functions right now in this moment as you can see here i have connected my android phone so i have a separate video about that check it out if you go back you go let me show again you go to, to, to the phone it shows you all those uh, connectivity to the android then you go to others here others mean all the functions the safety functions of the car for example you have the camera here settings if you go to settings it show you this 360 degrees camera the car come with the 360 degrees camera amazing amazing cameras uh, it looks just phenomenal i mean the resolution of the cameras are incredible good guys really really good and also you have different views here really cool anyway you have close obstacles all the safety features that the car come with uh, you will find it here uh, even the, if I'm not wrong the night vision driver alert you have the traction control function here and then you have a tutorial that help you how you everything it helps you all you can see here the function how it's work the night vision for example animals and stuff like that in the night time it will show it will appear on the screen guys so it's yeah so it, it will help you how it will tell you everything how it works everything it's very easy now 
where I was here you see it already then we have the settings on the settings we find uh, all the settings for example the most important settings the profile you can add a profile your own profile you have customizable you can customize the display and the screen from here it's very easy you go to display customizable and you can customize um, the, the touch display you can add another page for example you just go to pages here and you can add another page but I think yeah five pages are the maximum is the maximum pages so you can customize those pages the way you want it you can add for example here another widgets if you want to add for example um, the android you press the android you add it here if you want to add here on the right side uh, i don't know um, let's add the multimedia system it's working it's not working let's add this multimedia and then now if you go back save you will see a different page i will show you later when you go out here you change you can customize the cockpit and the head-up display you can choose what you like to see on the head-up display and what you like to have on the cockpit so it's a really really nice function as well so if you go back now to home you will see when we go back to home other than that screen colors uh, active sport sound you can also activate it when you are in sport mode then exterior animation interior animation of the car it has an amazing animation connectivity here to the internet to the device and then system here the language the time and kilometer miles Fahrenheit Celsius and all that settings also you have the brightness of the screens and of the head-up display the audio functions the vehicle function on the audio settings you have all that settings to change and to customize the way you want it equalizer balance go back you have the radio settings and volume settings right here so pretty simple pretty nice you can activate and change it from here go to vehicle here on the vehicle we have the vehicle light you can change the different function on the vehicle light guide me home adaptive light automatic high beam for example it's very important vehicle access here all that doors how you want to have it um, hands-free boot opening driver welcome all that stuff it's really really cool you can also activate and deactivate from here and the safety functions are also here uh, dimming mirrors in reverse and rear wipers in reverse updates here you make updates connectivity service yes those are the most important the application drawer you have all the application of the car right here so they are super cool oh, everything is here so you have the help the media android auto because it's connected it show you like that energy flow you already see it i show you before here where you are on the charging uh, views and yeah this is this is all guys i think i show you everything here climatic system yeah i think you see all the seats option kind of this is all guys it's very nice it's much more complex and it's very responsive this is my favorite thing and also you have the android here that i will explain in the other video uh, so check out next days on the channel good and yeah in terms of view great view from the driver point of view this is the multimedia guys uh, if you still have questions please ask me down below i hope it was useful for you also don't forget to like share subscribe and yeah i wait you in the next one see you guys